This is Radio Catskill, and joining us on the phone right now, we have Harav Fishbane, uh, White Lake Torah Center, and also uh, longest-serving um, minister of peoples in our area. Uh, for 48 years, he's been leading his congregation, Congregation Beth Sinai, in uh, Bethel. And uh, Rabbi, thank you so much for joining us today. I, I hear you have a message uh, for Shavuot. Uh, thank you very much. I'm, I'm very, very touched and very inspired by the very many kindnesses and good wishes from uh, individuals and fellow colleagues of all faiths that have come forward with such warm wishes and kindnesses. May the Almighty bless all of them. Uh, this Thursday evening, we usher in uh, the uh, momentous ho- holiday of Shavuot, which we celebrate the receiving of the Ten Commandments, the tablets. As we all know, the tablets are divided into two between man and man, and the second set is between man and the Almighty. And the famous Rabbi of Kosk once said, the Almighty cannot fool. Our fellow man, we're not permitted to fool. And whoever fools himself is indeed a fool. (laughs) Uh, I once was passing a house of worship, and I saw before me, a uh, uh, unbelievably magnificent manicured lawn. It looked like it was manicured, but a, a stunning bed of flowers. And there was a poster there, a large four-foot by eight-foot sign, and read the following message. No trespassing allowed. All violators will be persecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And it was signed, Sisters of Mercy. Uh, today's scene makes us come face to face with the stark realization that who really controls our destiny and what we thought were certainties is not really so and this is portrayed very realistically by a a tale in the Talmud a saintly gentleman was strolling along when suddenly a stone was hurled over the fence by a proud householder who was cleaning his lawn, and it nearly escaped hitting him. He leaned over the fence and summoned the householder, and he told him the following, How long will you continue to throw that which is not yours into that which is yours? And the householder eyed him like a lunatic, He said, isn't it the other way around? I'm throwing from that which is mine to that which is not. And the sage replied, be patient, we'll see who's right. Time passed, and the householder suffered a reversal in his fortune and his finances. And finally, his house was sold over his head. And the only place that he could find to rest his weary head was in the public thoroughfare, because that's something that belonged to everybody. Thank you very, very much for listening. Services in White Lake are Saturday, Friday morning at 10, and Saturday morning at 10, Memorial Service. For further information, you can call us at 845-583. 7374 845-583-7374. The phone will be answered all day today until 8 this evening. Thank you, Rabbi. Can I, can I ask you quick, you, you say you've been getting uh, warm wishes from uh, different folks in the community, and yes. I was just wondering how is your congregation doing now that you, you're seeing uh, more people and people are returning? How are they doing, especially uh, in these crazy pandemic times? Well, we we put a set up a, uh, a tent, and all our services are outside. They're not inside, and there's uh, social distancing, and uh, all the chairs are numbered, and we're, and the services will be very streamlined, so there won't be too long an exposure, and there'll be plenty of fresh air out there. And have the people that you've been encountering are are they doing well? Are they anxious about these times? Many of them are, are uh, locking themselves up in their homes, and they're going nowhere. 
some are, are, are going back and forth, some are coming to service and some are not. There's those and there's those. Okay, well, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you very much, and have a very beautiful, wonderful holiday. Harav Samuel Fishbane from White Lake Torah Center, Congregation Beth Sinai. And as far as we know, he's the longest serving uh, uh, minister of peoples in our area. He's been leading his congregation since 1972, 48 years. And uh, they will be celebrating uh, Shavuot uh, starting uh, starting uh, this evening and uh, into tomorrow.